I have said many times here on the channel, I'll never buy a Samsung. I bought one today. And I'm happy to bring this one to you, the A14 5G. It's brand new. And I went to the Cricut store to get it, not online. For pricing and availability, please don't wait for me to tell you in this video because I'm not going to do that. You'll have to go to a store or online to get the price for yourself. Wait until the very end of the video for the full specs for this phone. Now, let's take a look at it. Here we have the Samsung A14 5G from Cricut Wireless. Just picked this up for pricing and availability. Go online or preferably go to your local store and talk to them. We've got a 6.6 .6 FHD plus Infinity V display with a 90 hertz refresh rate, 50 megapixel triple rear camera system, 5,000 milliamp per hour high capacity battery with 15 watt fast charging, 64 gigs internal. Wow, what? Really? Only 64? And expandable up to a terabyte. Wow, yeah, okay, 64. For full specs, please wait until the end of the video. Stay here. The specs will be there. Let's pop it open. See what we got. Three, two, one. Alright, you've got volume one of stuff people don't read. Your device. Ah. SIM card. And look here, volume two of stuff people don't read. No charging block, as usual. They took the charging block away from us about a year ago. You've got a SIM key and a type C to type C charging cord. All right, let's get it out and see what we've got here. Right off the bat, I'm noticing the back of this phone is textured. Check that out. See that? It, that's actually kind of cool. I like that. It's textured. Maybe I won't drop it so easy because the cases were ugly and I didn't get one. There is no Cricut Tramp Stamp on this. We've got a triple camera system with our LED flash. And right there is your SIM slot. On the bottom here, you've got a single bottom firing speaker, Type-C charging, microphone, and a headphone jack. Over here, you've got your fingerprint scanner in the power button and your volume rocker. On top, that is your noise-canceling microphone. And then right here, tucked in nice and neat, you can't really even see. That is your speaker for when you're talking on the phone. And your front-facing camera. Let's power it up and see what she's got. Okay. I've got it all set up and ready to go. Let's check out this phone. I have buttons at the bottom of this screen. I'm not used to buttons, so I want to change to gesture navigation. I want to do that first. I don't know what to do with buttons anymore. All right, swipe gestures. Yes, please. Y'all, I am so... I haven't had my hands on a Samsung in so long. Gesture hint. I don't need a gesture hint. Show the button to hide the keyboard. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Now let's take a look at the settings. Connections. Clearly, you know what that is. All right. Yeah, we know what that is. We've got the connections, connected devices. I don't have anything connected right now. Modes and routines. This isn't something I'm just like, I am not a Samsung person. I have Motorola's. I have Pixels. I don't typically do Samsung, and I haven't had my hands on one since I left the store. So here we go with sleep, and I normally sleep my work schedule. So I'm going to take those out. Sleep time, nine hours. I wish. Let's see. I usually don't go to bed much before ever before midnight i'm never up at seven so let's set this for nine wake up alarm yes alarm sound home i don't even care what it sounds like vibration for a basic call okay snooze five minutes three times let's change that let's go for 15 minutes uh-huh for three times repeat three times okay yeah snooze is on next 
Turn on do not disturb to avoid distractions. Calls and messages are not allowed. Ab oh, yes, that's absolutely wonderful. Grayscale and dark mode are on. Eye comfort shield. What's that? Okay, let's do that. Sound mode and volume. Yeah, we don't want that. Driving, exercising, relaxing, work. Oh, we're not even going to bother with any of those because they don't matter. All right, next we have sounds and vibrations. I've got to change this ringtone. I, that cricket ringtone drives me absolutely insane. There we go. There is my ringtone. Notification sound, something else. There we go. Okay, notifications in the status bar. Um, they don't really bother me. I set those per, on a per app basis, but there you go. Display. I keep dark mode on all the time. Font size, I need it bigger because I don't always wear my glasses. Screen zoom, we're not going to mess with that. Full screen apps and the camera cutout. Oh, I can see it now. I can see clearly now. What I want to get down here to safety and emergency. We've got medical information. You can, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, I guess if you've got some medical information you want to add. Allergies, illnesses, things like that. Emergency SOS, emergency sharing, earthquake alert, silent notifications while driving. All right. Google services, advanced features, labs. What is this? Try experimental features. Some features may not work correctly with all apps. Multi-window for all apps. Allow all apps to open in pop-up view or split screen, including apps that haven't met them. I don't care. Screenshots. Show the toolbar after the caption. Delete after sharing from toolbar. Hide status. Okay, that's fine. Game launcher, dual messenger. Yeah, apps. Let's get some bloatware out of this thing. How about it? Add it up. Oh, uninstall. And... Oh, look. AR emoji stuff. Chrome. I do not want Chrome notifications. They can be rather foul. Notifications are blocked. That's awesome. See, mobile services must come out of every phone immediately. This is what you got to do. You got to turn off the notifications. Uninstall the updates. And then force it to stop and disable. I'm going to leave Immortal on there. That's Diablo Immortal. If y'all want me to do a bit of gaming on this phone, drop me a comment and let me know if you want to see me play Diablo Immortal, a very intensive, graphic intensive game. And uh, it will test a phone and test the performance of it. So if you want to see me do, if you want to see me play it and see how it runs, let me know down in the comments. Let's get out of that and get back in here. General management, um, language, app language, text to speech, keyboard settings, accessibility. I'm going to make, uh-oh, wait a minute. Talk back. Let's make sure that thing is off. It causes lots of problems. Spoken assistance, visibility enhancements. This is what you can do here. High contrast, large display, interaction and dexterity, universal switch, assistant menu. I'm going to leave all that turned off. Touch and hold. Yeah, that's where you do all of that. And then there's your basic stuff. There is a software update apparently available. All right, we've got One UI 5.0, Android 13. It goes with every phone. What I do is go down through here because the animations make me a little nuts. And I turn disable absolute volume. Absolutely gets you a little more boost when your speakers are on or your headphones or whatever. Off. I turn them all off. All right. Now let's take a look. There's your apps. Nice. Everything's foldered. I can't get used to Samsung slides to the side. There's games, the apps I actually do use. Let's take a look at the camera, at the settings right here. We've got portrait, photo, video, and more. In the more menu, we've got pro, macro, panoramic, night, food, slow motion, and hyperlapse. At the end of this video, I'm going to have a few picture samples for you, some video, and let you see what you think 
about the camera for the Samsung A14. You've seen as much of it as I have at this point. So over the next 12 or so hours, I'm going to be taking lots of pictures and videos and we'll see how it looks. That is your basic tour and a little bit in, in depth into the settings of the Samsung A14 5G. Thank you so much for watching. Stick around, check out the specs, and see what I got for the camera. The whole thing is gonna be about the camera. So, if you wanna check that out, stick around.